Good day, this MJ. Right now, we are here to interview the chairman of our uh, Axe Overseas Filipino Worker Coalition Organization or the Act OFW, represented by its chairman, Pelisciano O. Adorna Jr. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, good day. Magandang gabi po sa ating mga kababayan na lang ng My first question po is uh, regarding your claim uh, being the the authority of your legal rights being the chairman of the act uh, over the Filipino Worker Coalition. Can you give us the background being the chairman of uh, this organization? Nag-start pa po kami as uh, uh, more than 10 years ago. Um, A decade ago? Yeah. Uh, ito po ay na-credit ng Pumili only uh, na sometime in October 2015. But then prior to that, uh, sim bago pa lang po siya simulan, uh, ako na po yung uh, nagsimula. That's why they consider me as the founder or the father of the Regarding naman po dahil ito ay hindi siya district representative, it's the part, that's why it's party list. Sino po yung uh, have the right or voting uh, capability on the side, on your side and also on the side of uh, incumbent uh, congressman for peace? Kasi there is a faction, faction right now po. Sila po ay uh, nang mag-claim sila ng representation only on March 27, uh, which is a young general assembly using the money of the party uh, to make believe na sila po ay uh, legitimate. But uh, sila po ay as early as January of 2018, uh, they were notified ng ng upcoming General Assembly ng partido. So, ang ginawa po niya, nagumawa siya ng sarili ng version, although duly notified. And in fact, nung magkaroon po siya ng uh, Sham General Assembly, isa, siya po ay expelled sa kayong kanyang mga cohorts, uh, namely, uh, Ernesto Maceda, who claimed to be the president, although he was the former president of the party. But during the time ng sila po ay claim ng representation, they were already expelled sa kasi si Sir Benitez, uh, Noli Pacquiao, and uh, Cynthia at Palo. Sila po ay mga, ito po actually si Ernie Maceda, siya lang po yung, sila, si, siya lang po yung regular member of the board. The, the rest, uh, including uh, Congressman Bertis, Noli Pacquiao, uh, as I said, Benito, sila po ay mga non-voting members of the board. Ex-official. Regarding po ngayon, dahil siya yung incumbent na kaupo, how's the situation based on the chairman? Saan po yung office niya right now? So, for ito po ang nakakalungkot po ay wala po kami magagawa because for the past two years, simula po nang umupo yun si Congressman Bertis hindi po namin alam kung saan niya ginawaldas ang pera ng partido. Uh, hindi namin alam kung sino yung kanyang ma ang, ang staff ng partido, ang consultants. In other words, wala kang zero knowledge sa anong mga ginagawa niyang activities because he relentlessly defied the authority of the board and the party leadership. Kaya po, napilitan kami, uh, doon na po kami sa uh, bayadas uh, doon na po yung aming opisina, doon sa uh, headquarters na ginawa namin. It, it was being offered free by our president, uh, uh, Reverend Dr. Bako, is a pastor. So dahil hindi na yung uh, nag-represent na president nyo, si Ernesto? Uh, that's right, that's right po. Kasi uh, Masedo was expelled already. Nang magkaroon ng, ng board meeting, uh, that uh, Reverend Bahon was elected as president and it was confirmed by the General Assembly on March 31, 2018. Regarding naman po sa iba pang regarding how it's, uh, paano yung uh, history na ito ay na-registered na because it's coalition, so yung sa set and may iba pa po mga ibang uh, legal uh, government agency na ka-registered dito like the CMA? 
Yung Axe OFW. That's why Axe OFW. Uh, yung Axe po ay registered sa STC, sa SEC. And then yung OFW ng mga kalyado niya uh, registered with CDA. So in other words, ito po ay mga, mga kalipunan, ng, kalipunan ng mga organisasyon na tao. Especially itong mga organizations na so they are duly registered or juridical person. So sila po ay nagsama-sama para mabuo po itong tinatawag na acts overseas Filipino Workers Coalition of Organization. So far po, regarding your situation with British and uh, kasi po ni right now, uh, hindi pa rin tapos, nasa end bank pa, the legal claims of this being the chairman of the party with uh, against with the congressman British. Ano po yung masasabi nyo in house the the regular member of this because if they are ex-official member, your rights to vote because it's the consensus of the body. He is not a representative. So the body will decide. Opo, uh, yung expel po namin, originally uh, we give him notice po muna no, last year ng kanyang uh, siya po muna ay hindi po muna expel Suspended muna. Uh, indefinitely suspended. But eventually, because he dismissed yung, yung aming mga, mga notice sa kanya, sabi namin kung pwede ay mag-appeal siya, but, but he did not. He still ignored. So he ignored, he, he, he defied the authority of the court. So, uh, nung March po ay, uh, uh, nung February, ay this talagang, year po, this year, this year February. So, inexpeal na po namin. So, in other words, yung kanyang pong representation, yung ginagawa niya, uh, as of February, but officially by the way, po kasi yung several months so, so at least by March, officially, hindi na po siya, uh, hindi na po siya, wala na po siya ng moral authority, legal authority to represent the party for reason that he was expelled. And uh, in fact, uh, sad to say, uh, siya po ay, uh, he, is, uh, he is ashamed and tragedy about party, the SOFW parties, and the party list representation in Congress. Yung mga attitudes na pinapakita niya, the very controversial right now. Actually po, kung uh, yung una po, the first and last attendance niya sa board meeting namin na hindi pa po siya meet, uh, director ng board. Uh, kung ano po yung nakita niyo doon sa sa NAIA, uh, records will speak na wala pong sinabi yung ginawa niya doon. He lambasted the board, he shamed the board, everything. At for reason lang na ang board ay may pinapasok in pakarapatan ng board na maglagay ng stop. Nung ilagay po ng i, na officially we inform him na may gustong ipasok ang board na staff niya, doon na po siya nagwala. Sobrang pagwala. Uh, he, kung paano niya po doon sa, sa airport ay pinakita niya lang ng ganyan na pinamukha niya lang ng ID. But po sa amin ay dinuro-doro niya ang board of directors. So, it's must worse. Pero hindi po kami na uninip. Uh, ginawa po namin, we give him notice, the records speak, will speak. Kompleto po kami ng record. Kasi ayaw po namin, as a founder of the party, ayaw po po mawasak. You don't want to entice the vision but to hold the, the unification of the party. Yeah, for almost two years. Maybe. Kasi uh, napakasakit po na uh, yung aming pinagsimulan na tugo at pawis para sa kapakanan ng mga ating mga kababayan, lalo na sa ibayo at dagat nagsasakripisyo. Gusto po natin na uh, makatulong sa kanila uh, at ikain, makatulong po sa kanila uh, kahit pa paano maibsan ang kanilang mga problema, kanilang, uh, kanilang nararanasan sa pamamagitan ng posible magagawa namin. And we did. Yes. Lastly po, uh, for your uh, collaborative effort as the legitimate uh, member of the Acts OFW, what is your message for the Filipino people, especially the sector of the overseas Filipino workers? Akin pong panawagan uh, sa pamilya ng OFW, 
kami po ay una ay hindi po kami nag-tolerate sa mga ginawa ng aming representante. Hindi po namin tinolerate. Na, kaya nga po, we expelled them, but hindi po muna kami lumabas ng anong mga mga... mga uh, the ban will go back. Yeah, but, but because of what he did doon po sa airport, so kailangan na po namin naglabas ng state. So kami po ay nananawagan sa ating mga kababayang uh, Pilipino, lalo na sa OFW. Maaari po siguro suportan, hinihingi po namin na suportan suportan niyo po kami sa aming kusada, sa aming laban, na tuluyan na po mapatalsik po itong siya representative Bertis or Khan Bertis. Kasi po ay siya ay nagpapanggap na lamang na representante ng mga OFW. Very well said. So, to all our listeners, with us is the Board Secretary Corazon P. Polyam, Polina. Polina, yes. with us is the Board Secretary of the AXA OFW yes. and also the, the wife of uh, Chairman June Adorno, Miss Eden Adorno, Odessa, Odessa and also uh, Mr. Boyet Feliciano, the the vice chairman and part of the founding team of the OFW. Every Filipino, one way or the other, we had OFW family. So that's how for this advocacy. Right now, we hear the inside story of the chairman of the AX OFW, June Adorna. The AX OFW chairman, the revelation began. This is Andrea Albina Balaguer on this MJ Online. Makabuluhang journalist.